Now let's talk about the C-Class Cabriolet. This is a segment that's starting to open up for not just Mercedes-Benz, but for most premium car makers worldwide. In India, Cabriolets or convertibles, maybe they don't make too much sense, but you know what? That car is gonna come here. And so, which is why we of course have to review it for you. Italy to get behind the wheel of the latest car from Mercedes-Benz. The new C-Class Cabriolet will get eight petrol engines and two diesel engines globally. In India, we're likely to get the C300, which is the two-liter petrol, and that's the car that we have for you in this review. Now, we started driving the Mercedes C300 Cabriolet from Trieste, Italy, and now we are here in the beautiful country of Slovenia. But what's not so beautiful is the weather. It's been raining cats and dogs ever since we started driving. And I haven't been able to feel the wind in my hair yet. So I'm hoping that the sun gods come out tomorrow and I'm able to experience the car better. So the weather on our drive route was far from ideal. The C-Class is an elegant car to begin with and once the engineers at Stuttgart decided to take the roof off, the glam quotient went up a few notches. The lines on the body are clean and make the car look sporty. The front end is similar to the sedans barring the grille which makes use of chrome pins rather than the two silver slats. The redesigned bumpers are sportier. The rear is totally different with sleeker tail lamps and a shorter boot. The interiors are very luxuriously appointed. The dual tone color scheme of deep red and black stands apart. And the car in itself reeks of elegance and class. The C Cabriolet is a 2 plus 2, which means that it does have seats at the rear, but only kids and slim adults will find it comfortable. Driver assistance systems, a Burmester audio system, command infotainment control with a touchpad, and much more. Mercedes Benz's air cap and air scarf system ensure that you have a comfortable drive even in cold weather by deflecting the wind blast off the passenger space and blowing hot air on your neck respectively. That means the top can stay down even when it's chilly. The roof folds down in 20 seconds and can be operated at speeds of up to 50 km per hour. The C300 has a 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged motor that churns out 245 bhp at 5500 rpm and pumps out a solid 370 nm of torque from as low as 1300 rpm through to about 4000 rpm. The 9G Tronic transmission unit makes light work of shifting through the gears and in case you want to take the matter into your own hands by using the paddle shift. The engine has a broad mid-range and can happily cruise at triple-digit speeds without a hiccup. We might also add that the exhaust note was surprisingly delicious. And yet NVH levels are great. Even with the top down, the amount of noise creeping inside the cabin was minimal. Our test cars were fitted with the optional airmatic suspension and it provides an extremely balanced setup. This meant the car handled twists and bad roads with equal aplomb, something we found out on our drive across the border into the Slovenian countryside. The car has dynamic select that helps you choose from five driving modes suited to your needs. You can also opt for Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive system or stay with the standard rear-wheel drive system on offer. Mercedes-Benz claims that the C300 can do the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in 6.4 seconds and it has an electronically limited top speed of 250 km to the hour. 
The C300 Cabriolet is a wonderful, well-rounded package that holds a lot of promise. But in a country where convertibles are not exactly popular owing to the extreme weather conditions, it will remain niche. On performance and practicality though, the C300 Cabriolet stands shoulder to shoulder with the sedan on most fronts.